The past couple of weeks I started looking into 90 degree corner diffusers for a few different projects I've been wanting to do and it wasn't long before A. I found what I think is the best one out there and B. I realized I had vastly underestimated the sheer number of ways these V channels could be used. In this video I'll quickly walk you through the design elements of this channel, I'll point out a few reasons why this is my number one choice, and of course I'll include some final pictures and videos at the end so you can see them in action. So this particular diffuser is part of Musada's Spotless series and comes in either one or two meter length sections. The milky white plastic covering is slightly curved and is the same thickness throughout. It comes with two different style end caps, one with the hole for wires and one without. And as far as mounting brackets, included are these metallic pieces that have a recessed spot for a screw and snap onto the aluminum and are barely visible from the front. Now as far as a few reasons why these are so unique, first off is the sheer size. These were the biggest ones I ended up finding, and you can really see just how big of a lit up space you're going to get when compared to my favorite normal diffuser that I've used in a lot of my videos. Now perhaps the biggest benefit, which is also partially related to the size, is that these are the only ones I found to perfectly diffuse strips that have 60 LEDs per meter or more. And yes, that does mean the new Govi M1 lights would absolutely work with these to create a smooth neon glow with no hot spots. Next, since the space where you can attach the lights is so wide, it gives you the option to install two two LED strips side by side if you want things extra bright, or you may want to have one strip dedicated to the colors and maybe a second strip such as this cob one that you use just for your whites. These are also going to work excellent as an outdoor option since as you can see, these IP67 waterproof strips fit perfectly in the profile. And finally, on big installs, power injection is always something you have to figure out. Again, with the space in this channel being so big, you have plenty of room to run your additional wires right inside the profile like I'm doing here, with zero negative side effects such as blocking light or casting shadows on the diffuser. So for testing these out, I'm going to be using some 5V WS2812B pixels from BTF Lighting that have 60 LEDs per meter. To control them, I'll be using my favorite WLED installed on an ESP32, and I won't go over those easy steps of getting that up and running since I already made a complete walkthrough of that process that you can watch. I now have the one strip installed at the center and I'm going to go ahead and snap on the diffuser. And to make the final pictures and videos more fun, I went ahead and put four of these together by soldering my own wires under the pads and connecting them together using waggle clips. And if you're at all interested in learning how easy soldering actually is, I made a soldering LED strips for beginners video that goes over the basics with very close up footage that I highly recommend taking a look at. So that about does it for this video and I hope you enjoy the final pictures and videos. I'll leave all the links in the description as well as a few other details I left out in case you're curious. But thank you all so much for watching and as always let me know if you have any questions at all.